a spiritual journey, but Kenya Moore is still getting me in my. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. Season 12 reunion part two. Girl, I ain't gonna hold y'all. This reunion, girl, she could have been left um, as a um, secret revealed or something. She wasn't given all that. But there was some stuff, some moments that we needed that were very important. Um, and we're gonna talk about it. So, girl, a lot of tea has dropped since the um, first part of reunion has aired. A lot of people are talking about Cynthia might not be coming back. She might be coming back as a friend of the show. The girls are saying that Phaedra might be coming back. It's a lot of stuff going on. They're saying that Candy is pissed off. They say that Candy ain't feeling it. All this is speculation. I have not. I don't have no plug at um, Bravo yet. But, um, girl, if you are a plug at Bravo, please email me and everything is anonymous. But let's go get into this tea because I love this reunion. Oh, girl, let me start live. I really did like it. I thought it was all right. So, um, Portia and Kenya, we get into the receipts type of situation. What happened with the receipts? Portia uh, dropped some receipts that really support that Kenya ain't the best friend really with, with, uh, with Cynthia. Um, apparently, um, you know, Kenya was talking kind of bad about, you know, Cynthia. Like saying, girl, I'm going to get her. Like, she need to do a better job and da 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 and Cynthia taking that energy, taking that information, she just was like, oh, okay, you know, we all do this and that. It's just amazing how y'all shift energy. Like, I, like I'm going, I'm not going to lie, it seems like there is some type of alliance with Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia. There seems to be some type of alliance, like, it's just not any type of accountability, even when there was clear some moments that Kenya uh, was wrong. Candy, for the life of for the life of God, could not say anything. Can they eating your ass up online right now, girl? They were saying that you over here having a, uh, a, a, have a happy birthday. Happy birthday. They said it was Candy, Candy had a birthday party. She had her elderly ass <laughs> aunties and mama, girl. Girl! Um, and, that, and that baby, like, girl, I ain't gonna lie. Like, Candy, I don't think you should have posted that on social media. But Candy posted it on social media. She did that. It was like, girl, your, your parents are older. I wouldn't have had them at no birthday party, but you know, sometimes folks don't know how to read the room and it, it just is what it is. But that shit had me hollering when my homegirl said, Girl, she had her elderly, elderly ass mom. <laughs> girl, that shit took me out. It's something about how she said, how she tweeted it. Oh, how I received it. But, um, girl, Ken, it's just like, what is up with you, steady? Like, ha like, what is going on with you? Like, not seeing the wrong that Kenya does sometimes. Like, it's just always something. Like, it's just, oh, well, no, it's a misunderstanding. No, it's not no misunderstanding. Kenya lied. She lied and made it seem as though she had a conversation with Shamia while Shamia was giving birth. Come to find out it was a text message prior to Shamia giving birth. How is that a misunderstanding, Candy? Candy, like, come on, Candy, girl. What a man. Well, come on now, Candy. You can do better than that. Uh, but the receipts that Portia brought about, you know, Kenya talking mess about Cynthia, I believe it. I, I believe it. Uh, we get to Cynthia. Finally, Cynthia speaking. Finally. Uh, what's going on with her and her extended family? She said things are good. Sometimes, sometimes stuff ain't all that good. Um, I'm not really surprised at all, sis. I'm not really surprised at all. Then we get into the conversation of what happened, how does she feel watching her and Mike have that conversation about, you know, their relationship and stuff in front of the kids. And she said, well, you know, they don't try to, you know, hide stuff or pretend like stuff. They try to kind of, you know, be honest. Um, I agree with that. I definitely think there's nothing wrong with y'all showing, sharing love or whatever. But that whole part, uh, that girl was breaking down crying and even then, um, Cynthia should have never went in that room and Mike kissed her after that. It was just, it was just, all of it was cringy. I hated that whole situation. And there's some conversations you just need, like, take, take time, like, take some time. Like, it's just, it's, it, it, girl, it's too much. What happened to Portia and Kenya's relationship? They started off pretty cute in the beginning and then it just got messy. Now, this is where some of us gonna have to, this is what you do when the cameras are around. Now, it's gonna, the Kenya Moore fans gonna come to get me. Um, but they really, I really don't, when do they not? Uh, especially you, Antoine. <laughs> but this is what happens. 
I already knew that the Portia and Kenya were not going to. I was like, girl, this ain't, it ain't. Because I honestly don't think Kenya has changed at all. I think she's still very much shady and then she's coming back. So she has to kind of do something, kind of shake it up. Um, there's a difference between fun shade and just shade shade. Portia was throwing fun shade at Kenya throughout the whole season. Like she was throwing fun shade and it was kind of like accountability shade. Like even the whole thing about the hair thing, she didn't make it a big thing. Like she was like, girl, yeah, she gets it. It's okay. Like she gets go naked hair. That was fun shade. But um, Kenya and her shade and, and some of the stuff that she was saying, it was not fun shade. It was not. There was some. There were several times where Kenya was throwing some shade, and it wasn't the best. Now, Kenya, granted, folks have said some ugly stuff about you in the past. Um, you know, people have said some really trash stuff about you. But since you be doing the same thing, and it's just like, what well, you do, I'm gonna do it. You do, I'm gonna do it. It's like. Girl, so I knew that was not gonna work, but Kenya seemed to be irritated by the fact that Portia was, you know, throwing shade at her. But it's like, Kenya, you do that. Like, y'all all be throwing shade, and if anything, Portia's shade didn't come hostile at all. Even in the reunion, she wasn't like coming off hostile towards Kenya. She was just like, yes, girl, the makeup queen, girl, get into it, glam, bitch. Like, even that, like, she wasn't coming at Kenya. She wasn't, like, everybody else came at Kenya. Portia just played it very, very nice. And Portia gonna be right in the front and center on the next season, cause baby, sis on earned her peach. Girl, I know Portia is tired from carrying the whole reunion on her back, girl, to the point that she even got a chance to ask a question. And they allowed that. What does that tell you? So Cynthia was the only one that raised her rag glass hand and said that um, Marlo's, you know, event being shaded by Kenya was fun shade. Like Kenya walking in with a band, that was fun shade. Um, now I did scream the girls' heads, dropped the clips and said, Tanya, Tanya, talking, talking, Tanya, gonna say, well, no, nobody was laughing, girl. Everybody was laughing. Tanya, you was the last, one. you was the main one. Ah, girl, that's a meme of you. Ah. Like with a microphone in your hand, you were laughing. Portia was laughing. Everybody was laughing. It was funny, but it was still bad at the same time. I um, mean, Marla wasn't here for that. And it goes against Kenya's beliefs of saying that you don't come for my business, I won't come for you. Like, don't come for my business. Like these things that we keep saying are off limits. I thought that the finances were off limits, girl. That had me screaming, honey. Uh, but. Y'all do it. Y'all do it. Y'all pick and choose when some stuff y'all don't like goes again. Like, it's just, it's a mess. It's just not consistent. Y'all are not consistent at all because Kenya didn't like that the girls was messing with her about her hair products and everything else and about her hair. Like, even when they was asking her about, you know, girl, do you wear wigs? She said, I do wear wigs to protect my 24 inches. I am really tired of, I'm really tired of the beauty reads, the cute reads. I'm tired of it. It's getting old. It's getting outdated. Um, Kenya Moore, thank. Oh yes, yes, girl, you got long hair, sis. Yes, 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 girl. Yes, we are so happy for you and your long hair, girl. Like, are we in fucking middle school? Like, are you kidding me? Like, to protect my long hair, girl, you still wearing wigs? You lie. You was kind of like saying that you didn't have to wear wigs. You do wear them. Now, I don't know much about hair. I don't know much about it, but I'm like, girl, I'm tired. Let me tell you something. I know a lot of folks are gonna, gonna feel some type of way about this, but I was not here for Kenya calling Mimi ugly. This is the second time that this has came up, and I know I have said some stuff and made jokes about Mimi, but I'm just recognizing, like, I'm tired of that. What makes Mimi ugly? Uh, what, like, it, it just, we, we y'all can, we continue to say these things, oh, this is ugly, this is ugly, Are you ugly, and then you wonder why these folks have gotten their nose done, why they are bleaching. Not saying this is what Nene is doing, but you wonder why folks are doing fillers and doing all these things, when y'all constantly calling them ugly. Like, what do y'all expect? Can your folks make fun of your, your skin for seasons, and you finally, you didn't, you didn't did something about it. Like, it's just like, how does that make you feel? Like, I just, I think it's just time to leave those jokes alone. It's been time. But I'm recognizing how much of an impact it plays. And it was just very tight. I just cringed every time. And I don't care about nobody being upset about me saying, well, Justin, it's just jokes and stuff. I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling uh, Kenya's daddy calling her ugly. I was not feeling Nene saying her skin bad and all that other stuff. And people say, well, y'all don't have the same energy when Nene do that. I'm going to tell y'all something. We know 
When it comes to desirability and how society looks at black women, we know they are picking Kenya over Nene. Like, that's their style. When it comes to looks, come on. Kenya's a whole pageant model, all this other stuff. Like, come on, Nene is beautiful too. I'm just not here for that. I'm just not here. You the ugliest one on this couch. Like, I just feel like it was very low hanging fruit and you can tell that it got to Nene. It was just very low hanging fruit and Kenya, you can do better than that. That, 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 like, that is why Kenya would ever, never be the queen of reeds to me because that was low hanging fruit. Anybody can say, oh girl, you ugly. Like, when you were able to like build reeds off of something, make folks think, you'd be like, oh girl, that's some reeds. The calling somebody ugly is like below the, it's just below, but you know, Kenya is in the gutter when it comes to that type of stuff, so it's not really trash. Moving on to the karma. Kenya apologized for using the see you next Tuesday when talking about Tanya. Now, she was talking about some, oh, Portia has called me the B word a couple of times. Oh, uh, and Portia was like, well, girl, you used the C word on Tanya. So, what does that say? So, Kenya had to apologize to Tanya. And uh, Tanya said, girl, well, you know, she didn't did so much, she didn't try to right so many wrongs during this reunion that I accept her apology. Um, girl, it was a mess, honey. It, it, it was a mess. Nene tried to get a couple of reads in and Kenya was ready for that ass, baby. Kenya said, girl, well, at least my man ain't FaceTiming the, um, the help. I had to look and see what was going on. I said, the hell? Where is this coming from? And I had forgot that Nene Leakes had did an interview, I think, with um, Angela Yee. And she had said that she, that Greg had a FaceTime conversation with one of the housekeepers or something. It was an inappropriate conversation. They never did anything sexual, but it was inappropriate. I said, oh my God, I hate it that Nene had to defend that because, girl, that was some garbage. Kenya was ready. She had the reads. She had them ghost reads ready, girl. I was here for it. Hanging the cookie lady. Um, I really don't understand the whole cookie lady incident. It's very much confusing to me uh, about when she knew it, when she didn't know it. Girl, all of that, I, I, I was confused the whole time. Like, I don't know, did, did Tanya know it before the wig situation? Some Y'all help me review that for me. Tell me what happened. Somebody break it down for me because I don't understand it. But I was here for Candy saying, girl, uh, if I, like Tanya, Folks have made jokes about my man and all this other stuff too, and I had to defend myself. And Candy was right. Um, Tanya, I think the thing with Tanya is Tanya is kind of playful, so she's not ready for that. But um, Candy was like, girl, you need to learn your place, learn your spot, girl. You got to defend yourself. And it's like Tanya wanted folks to defend her in that moment of Candy there. But I think, um, like Candy said, Candy said if she was right there during that moment, she probably would have said something. But I don't know because Candy is very much Team Kenya Moore, girl. She riding the hell out of that coochie. What happened to the lunchbox? The lunchbox? Um, Candy tries to explain that Mama Joyce don't want her for her coins. Um, and then Mama Joyce just be joking or whatever. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. Mama Joyce is always talking about where your money gonna be at. Um, if something happens to you or this and that, and he gonna take your money. Her eyes is all on your coins. All on your coins. Which tells me that Mama Joyce, you've already said that she had credit cards in your name and doing all that. Yes, Candy, your mama provided you a good life. She should have. She's your damn mama. Mama Joyce is very much has her eye on the prize, and that prize is Candy's checking account. Girl, Candy, you can you can try to clean it up all you want, but um, we know what it is. So Eva talks about the donor. Um, it was just kind of a sad part of the reunion. Um, she was, you know, she refuses to say his name, which I definitely understand. And she just says, hey, girl, we were just in some type of situation ship, and I got pregnant, and, you know, I can tell... You know, I can kind of have signs that he was abusive or whatever. Um, and I, I always hate this when folks come out of a situation like this because they always kind of blame themselves and say, I should have known better, but it's not on you. It's not on you, sis. You, you, like, the, the energy needs to be spent on the person who created that environment, who did that. Like, you can't blame yourself. Like, you cannot blame yourself for something somebody else did. And that's what I got from that. Uh, we talk about Portia and Dennis. What's going on, Portia Dennis? Dennis still don't want no wedding. He like, he don't trust everybody that ain't here for their marriage and their togetherness, which I don't blame. Um, Portia trying to explain their relationship and the incident that happened with Dennis with those four women late at night after the club at four o'clock in the morning. She said it didn't look good. And I can understand what Portia's, I swear she get on my nerves with this shit. I can definitely understand what Portia means by that because when you are in the public eye, People do. I had folks do the same thing to me, girl. It was like, girl, I saw your man at the club. He was dancing on somebody. I was like, yeah, that's not something I have a problem with. Like, 
he likes to dance, he gonna get his life, he gonna enjoy himself. I'm not gonna tell him that he can't do that. Uh, but I can understand how that looks. The optics of Dennis sitting with some four women and then Portia just got through having a baby or pregnant or whatever, and she at the house and Dennis, it just the optics look bad. So to prevent that, let's make sure that we are not doing that. Uh, because you, these are the things that you sacrifice when you are in the public eye, unfortunately, Dennis. So I'm pretty sure that Dennis apologized and you know owned up to that. I'm hoping that him and Portia um, are in a better place. Um, Cause I want their relationship to work. Period. I'm a baby in your brain. I've been waiting on is Nene and Candy. I have been waiting on it so much. Now you see why I didn't want to talk about uh, me and Wendy's relationship. And Candy's like, girl, did you just compare uh, Portia and Dennis stuff and all of this to you, your relationship with Wendy? Um, folks, that I saw the connection. I was like, it didn't make any sense. Uh, Portia. And Dennis are in a romantic relationship. Uh, Wendy and Nene are not in no romantic relationship as far as I know. So those are two different things. Uh, so I don't see how Nene was trying to make that connection. Uh, it, it just wasn't connecting. The Wi-Fi wasn't ready. The AOL dial-up wasn't even, somebody was on the phone. So it couldn't even dial through. The, I just, I didn't get that at all. I was very much confused on that. But you know, that's Nene. She be saying stuff. Like sis kept saying, you're unforgettable. So are you saying that we can't forget candy? I'm like, somebody help Auntie Al. Lunchbox, learn from the lunchbox. Like, Nene had me screaming, learn from the lunchbox, from her telling Eva to keep licking the bottoms to get on top. I don't know what that means. What does she mean, keep licking the bottoms to get on top? Girl, who is, somebody help Nene out with these reads, because they just, they, she was just reaching for straws and they were just not connecting. Them paper straws were falling apart, Nene. Them reads was just not there, girl. They were just not. So Nene and Candy just going to edit. They call each other out going off. Andy has to put them, put them on mute. And girl, it's just, it's just a hot mess. Then we get into the conversation about the spinoffs. Um, Nene got very defensive about that because she said she was not talking about Candy and then Candy kept stretching it out. Nene leaks. there are not that many housewives who have had spinoffs. They're not that, like the Vanderpump girl had a spinoff, Candy has a spinoff, Kim Zosia has a spinoff. Uh, the only one that's not current is Candy's. So are you either talking about Lisa Vanderpump, or are you talking about Kim Zosia, Nene, or are you talking about Candy? You were talking about Candy, because I think you were specifically talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. And the only person who has had a spinoff on that uh, was Portia and Candy. And I know you ain't talking about Porsche because she has not had but one. Um, so Candy has that. And I actually enjoy Candy's spinoffs. They've been fun. The ski trip stuff was funny. Um, like the all the stuff they the, the wedding stuff was funny. There's a couple of, like her family that has the dynamic. And Candy has even explained how that happens. I just don't really think that you and apparently they were filming something now for Candy. I just don't really think there's something Fun about Greg and Nene to make me want to watch. I just Greg, Nene, and, and Brent. I got just. I'm bored. I'm I'm very bored. Like I'm just. I don't know. Like Nene, come on now. You was pressed about this. You was pressed about Candy having a spinoff show. And girl, you just you. I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you, girl. Be real. You was talking about Candy. Let it go and let God. So Nene pressed, but so Nene's pressed boost, girl. She ends up leaving. And um, girl, it was just. Girl, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why Nene left. Um, girl, but apparently it might have had something to do with Yovana because Andy was looking at his phone. Now, y'all paid attention. Andy said, are you serious? It looked as if he had got a text message from somebody. And he was like, are you serious? Because he didn't even look and see that Nene was gone. Or he was like, you know, he, he was like, are you serious? Like, he was looking at his phone. Then he was like, okay, Nene left. So, Yovana is going to be on the next episode the next part of the reunion and it's apparently Yovana's gonna get into that Nene lie about the tape recording and Cynthia spoke up and she grabbed her backbone girl she put that right in her back she was like boop 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 she started talking mess and saying Nene how am I supposed to believe you when you ain't out here calling Yovana out if she is allegedly lying Yovana Yovana girl it's gonna be a mess that's the part of the reunion I'm ready for. This was a good filler episode reunion, but she was not giving all of that. I think the only funny parts was 
Goodbye Lunchbox, um, Porsche tearing up, Kenya Moore's receipts, be impressed by that. And I think that was about it. I'm embedded in your boom brain. But other than that, this was a high reunion girl. But probably y'all doing y'all job with this editing and these clips and stuff. I shout out to y'all girl. Uh, I love to see it. Um, tell me what y'all think about everything that's going on, girl. There's a couple of topics I probably want to talk about in here. I'm going to take out and talk about it in a separate video. Thank you all so much for watching my Dear Eva video. Y'all really made that go through. I think it's like at 70,000 views. Shout out to all the King of Reeves folks for supporting and always bringing the brand to the lights. I love y'all so much. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye. It doesn't matter who you are. Sometimes it's just lonely. Sometimes nobody understands. It doesn't matter how strong you are. Have you feel that way? I just want to be appreciated. I want to be appreciated. I want to be appreciated.